It's Madden NFL 24, and we'll see the Bears bruising running back. He's coming off an incredible effort with over 200 yards rushing a week ago. It's the Bears and the Bucks, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. On the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium, just north of downtown Tampa. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis, and Charles, you take a look at this Buccaneer ball club. And losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. The Bears offense getting set to go fresh off of victory in week one. And the one we'll be watching is this man at running back. What a performance a week ago, over 200 yards on the ground. And intellectually, we know he'll be hard-pressed to repeat those kind of numbers, but the way he looked last week, would you bet against him? Not at all, intellectually or, or otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Now he's loose at the 40. Escapes the defender. Inside the 20. Touchdown, Chicago! A great play there with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bears are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. They scored the most points of anyone on opening weekend, and now first quarter touchdown here. And while there's no guarantee that all the points they scored in opening weekend are going to hold up and be the average all year long, they're certainly starting to set that type of a pace. And what you do with that is you put in the heads of all of your opponents. We've got to really be ready on defense because these guys know how to put the ball in the end zone. Do you think they can keep piling on the points like this? I think they can if they're prepared to adjust and adapt because they won't see the same defense as week in and week out. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to there score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And even 100 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. And it is still early, just the first quarter. But you start prorating the numbers, and we might be in for some history. I mean, that last run puts him over 100 yards already, and we've still got three quarters to go. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Fields now to throw. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. Touchdown! D.J. Moore, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bears are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So this offensive unit, yeah, they were solid in the opening week victory, and now they are looking just as sharp here in week two. And that's exactly what you want, too, because you want to get better each and every week and really ramp up as the season goes on. Well, the Bears offense out there set and ready to go. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and two. Off play action, Fields. And he'll go right back to Allen. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Here we go. Hey, 
going out. We're going out right here. Stack. Play action. It's Fields. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game. And he will fight his way in. Not giving up there, and he's got a Bears touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Bears have moved out in front by three touchdowns. again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. Go, but all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Fields. And he whips that one incomplete there. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession. But the coverage held, it goes incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Up, 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 up. Here's Fields. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the go. rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Now a throw here to his running back, and he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. 134 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. On first and 10, here's Fields. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. From the gun, he'll hand this off, and he'll get it down here to the 43. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. 
Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here we go. On first down, it's Fields. Pass completed to Steven Carlson. And he gets his down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Just need a yard here. Second and one. To throw his fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. And Mooney going to have a Bears first down as he'll be brought down at the 27. Fields to Mooney for the Chicago first. Mooney had a hair under 500 yards last season and only two touchdowns. But the year before, a thousand yard season. 2023, a big year for his future with the franchise. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. More the motion man right. Right back to him on first down. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 12 more yards there and another first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A great play there. On his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Bears go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. Might he be on his way to a record-setting performance here, Charles? Second quarter and the yardage number already ridiculous. And they always talk about just focusing on the next play. But sometimes it's okay to dream big yeah. because they... I'm focusing on the fourth quarter already. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't blame you, though, because we could be witnessing some type of history here. And it's being done by him and, of course, the big guys up front who are creating the holes for him to run through. Yeah, they've all been good so far. So we reach halftime with the visiting Bears out on top here. As we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit, but first it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta. And it's the Falcons who are out in front in the second quarter. Desmond Ritter with a couple of touchdown passes. From there, it's up to Highmark Stadium to check in on the Bills. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Raiders. Deontay Hardy, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's motor up to the Motor City. See what's happening with the Lions at home at Ford Field. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Jackson Smith and Jigba, a touchdown reception.
So here are the Bears to take over on offense. They've got the lead right now in this ball game, and they're on the heels of that nice win last week over the Packers. Fields on first down. Locates Mooney on the out route. And he goes out right around the 39. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Ball on the 39. Here's second and four. Back to throw. Fields. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. First catch for the Bears' leading receiver from a year ago. It's a Chicago first down. Well, up big, but still not hesitating to take some shots downfield, CD. I guess they really want to hammer home their dominance in this one. Yeah, that much is apparent, partner. If they keep completing throws like that, they'll keep that gap awfully wide as they've established already. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Zone coverage there, they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. But 223 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And having built that kind of a lead, they're able to do whatever they want right now. All momentum on their side, especially now running the football. Yeah, you're talking about a defense being on their toes. They don't know what's going to hit them <laughs> next at this point. No, they went from toes to heels, and they're trying to figure out how to get back to the toes part. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And here's a handoff out of the gun. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Throwing on third down, Fields. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That would have broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Bears have got it on cruise control. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He has been a touchdown machine. It has been enjoyable to watch. And the scoreboard continues to light up as a result of his efforts. He's been a blast, though. Every time you look up, you just figure, if he's got the ball in his hands, he's going to end up in the end zone. It's been that kind of a game <laughs> for him. Absolutely. Now you just keep waiting for more. Uh, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Levante David making his presence felt in the backfield. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. 
They had a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. Only two yards on the carry. That's going to set up a third and long, third and 15 to be exact. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Here we go, Scott. Right. Here's Fields. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Moore. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Bears are on their way to a 2-0 start. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. back the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point but he's had a great game as we like to say a nose for the end zone no doubt continues to find it throughout this game and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live he might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest he knows how to get there and boy he looks happy when he does he's already bought all the prop and now off to the races down the right side inside the 20 and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that it's difficult. But guess who's smiling? But inside is thinking 24-hour rule because we're going to have to play again next week. Boss man. Oh, without a doubt. The head coach, <laughs> he wants them to feel good, but at the same time, find a way to keep improving. The Chicago offense set to get started. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. Here we go. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second down and six now. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. First down, Bears. He'll look to throw. A throw left side taken in by Komet. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 
That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Partner, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So I tell you what, Charles, I know that you don't put a ton of stock into power rankings and things of that nature, but another score here and two weeks into the season, this is maybe the most impressive team in the NFL. Would you agree? Well, they've certainly sold me as they've sold you. And I agree with you, no question about it. They won easily last week. They're on their way to another lopsided victory here. They're definitely a team to be reckoned with, and they are serving notice to the rest of the league. Well, this was a blowout supported by both sides of the ball today, Charles. It would be easy to look at the offense and say, man, they were clicking, and they were, but don't forget about the effort by this defense as well. Yeah, they weren't going to let up just because the lead was safe. They wanted to play as big a part in this game as their offense did in making this blowout. They needed to be noticed as well, and they played accordingly. So for Chicago, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll have another road date next week with the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, for the Buccaneers, they'll drop to 0-2, and, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.